somebody I can call if I get in trouble. You hear me? Okay. But I don't have on her what she does. And I want it. I reached my hand up there and got wiped my finger and it was on my hand. And I was happy. I had to get some of hers to have some. But buddy, if God's got it, I want it. I don't care about your controversial issues of where, why, when, and what. You're not that smart. And you don't have the right to question heaven. So I suggest you backing down a little bit and letting heaven be who he is. And that's God. Because <laughs> I'm not that dumb of an ind individual. I speak lots of languages. I know lots of customs. Been around the world a few times. And I can't get what she's got. I stuck my hand on the side of her face. And it started running up my arm. I moved my hand and it stopped moving. The Shekinah presence was on her. It wasn't on me. I talked about it. She got it. She get it. Bleak, hopeless, disease-filled body. Because I'm going to tell you why. And I'm glad you're interested and ask me why. Because God loves every living soul. She don't see any hope. And with God, there's always hope. There's always a gift that He can give to fix your situation and your dilemma. There's never an opportunity that the devil has that can outwit God, outpower Him, outmaneuver Him, ever. Ever. But Hogan, you've lost your mind. No, I've lost your... The next time I laid my hands on her, the Holy Ghost hit her. The ushers tried to catch her. She was very frail, sick. They, as soon as they touched her, they got knocked out. 30, 40 people fell at once. She fell with her arms up. The stench of death. You should split. It doesn't matter that we were in hell with our abode and our stance. It mattered that heaven was in there with us. It doesn't matter where I go. It only matters that He's there. <laughs> and you better believe in it. <laughs> Come on, great Holy Ghost. Now watch this. When she fell, I'm watching her. All of these people, I'm looking at these bodyguards, and they're all just looking at me. The people she fell on, the gold starts running. It ran on everybody that was touching anybody in that pile. And when they got up, it was 100% healing. Isn't that something? Wow. My goodness. What a wonderful God. Special endowments of supernatural energy. I'll take that, thank you. Brother Hogan, I don't believe that. You better be looking for somebody else you think gives a flip. Because I'll move and let you go to hell if you just have to go. You're supposed to try to talk me. No, I'm not, son. You don't tell me what I'm supposed to do. I tell you what we do. Well, you're arrogant, really. You ever seen arrogance heal AIDS before? 
I'm looking at arrogance, and you've never healed AIDS. I got so knocked out in the Holy Ghost I couldn't walk anymore. These bodyguards brought me in, me in a chair. And I'm just sitting there. Can't even raise my head up. I want to go home. I can't walk. A lady walks up in front of me. I can't see who she is. I can just see that by her feet and the sores on her that she's diseased. I can't move. I just laid my hands on her thigh. She fell down and I saw her finally. She started foaming. Then she went limp. She was in advanced stages of AIDS. And right in front of our eyes, God healed her instantly. We have that doctor verified. That's a, I saw dozens and dozens of them healed in every nation. It changed my life. Isn't that something? Can I read another verse to you? In 1 Corinthians 12. You all right with that? Holy Ghost. Seems like on the left side of somebody's head there's some kind of pain. We'll get to you in a minute. I don't know if it's uh, migraines or if it's uh, some sort of pain though, on the left side of... Maybe the back lobe of the head on the left side. Also, there's inner ear here. Problems, hurt, pain. Jesus' name. Holy. Also, on the right side back, it could be it's in the place where maybe lung and liver... close together, so it could be either one, but we're going to be healed in a moment of time. We'll work on that in a minute, okay? Fair enough? <laughs> it's the right ear also. I want to read another, another verse or two, is that okay? <laughs> It says in my Bible, there are distinctive varieties of operations, verse 6, of workings to accomplish things. It is the will of God to accomplish things. For you to be blessed, it is God's purpose. But it's not what He's after. He's after things. He wants you to be touched so you can take that touch to other people. So you can heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons, cleanse the lepers, 